Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to a Legionary's life. Um, we're now on to our fourth character. This is fourth, fourth time <laughs> trying here. Um, so with this character, I did have 11 points to spend before I went in, which meant that I was able to get myself a better helmet off the bat. This new, uh, this better uh, light Celtic helmet. Um, it's better than the one that you start off with. Uh, I also bought a better pectoral plate. Um, we're now into the second fight, which is where I died last time to a bloody Carthaginian ninja. Um, but yeah, we've managed to defeat, the, well, we've managed to survive through the siege of Carthago Nova. I was calling it Nova Carthago. What's the difference? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've now received our pay. We have 128 denarii. I'm going to see if I can get myself a better sword. Um, this is my character, Jarius Havery. Um, yeah, he's got 35 javelin, 34 shield, 34 sword. Um, is the general stats my charisma slightly below average, but everything else is above. Uh, he's not as good as my first guy, well, third guy rather, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to see what's for sale. I received my regular pay, 37 denarii. My wounds hurt and my recovery feels painfully slow. Bruh, my morale has decreased. Um, right, let me see what I can get. There is absolutely nothing. There is some greaves, though. Greaves for 88, that does sound good. How much does my current chest plate sell for? 24. <laughs> mm, the back and breastplate does cover the torso more than what I've currently got. But then it's not really worth it. I might actually just buy some greaves. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Uh, and then do another search. Mura, why are you doing this to me? Quilted Link, Linen Curious, no, and there's absolutely nothing else there with me, so there's nothing else for me to really get there. Um, yeah, I got sort of pretty banged up during the <laughs> during the uh, Siege of New Carthage. Um, so, what are we going to do here? I am going to swim. Coordination has increased, that's what I want. My coordination's now at... 51, that's good. Um, my quickness is not great, but I think that's because of the greaves that I just bought. Yeah, quickness penalty. That's a problem, but it does cover my leg a bit, and it does give me some anti-armor protection and stuff like that, so that's good. Uh, might do some sparring. Shield, sword and shield there is also increased. Um, let me try and get my strength up. Uh, strength, constitution, yep, that's good. Unfortunately, not getting any better. Let's go for a run as well. Got a bit of extra quickness. That's good. Uh, now we need to hang around a bit. Increase my morale and troop opinion. There you go. That's good. Now let's... Quickness, endurance has also gone up there. Good. Constitution's gone up. Oh. Didn't quite read what that was. Thread of my life has been swung. This winter's especially harsh. Oh, it's this one again. I'm going to buy some adequate clothes. I lost 25 denarii, but I didn't suffer any bad morale penalties like... I mean, I did before. Let's do that. Get some extra troop. Yeah, troop opinion. Going good there. Strength has increased. That's good. What's my strength at now? 60. That's good. Uh, I should really do with... Um, increasing my quickness. Quickness has increased. Yeah, that's good. Endurance has increased as well. That's good. Now let's hang around. Hang around a bit. Oh. I'm escorting an ambassador of Scipios to a meeting with a local chieftain. Talks are not going well, the palpable tension is growing. Uh, it's not my place, say nothing. Suddenly one of the warriors accompanying the chief rests his hand on the hilt of his sword. Do the same. For a moment the situation seems to escalate. The ambassador immediately steps in and manages to cool the situation down. As he resumes negotiation, he throws me a cold scare. Bruh. The talks go on, but no satisfactory conclusion is reached. Bruh. Well, that's hardly my fault. The guy was going to, like, do something. He could have done something. I needed to, like, let him know that he couldn't try anything and try and murder our guy, you know? Uh, let's go for one extra patrol. There you go. Centurion opinion is increased by one. Uh, and that's it. We can now move on. By cell, can't really do much. Uh, my intelligence and awareness to a lesser extent would help me with that. But no, we're going to have to move on. Over a year since the capture of Carthago Nova, 
Carpath Union has failed to respond properly, hindering, hindered by rivals and lack of cooperation. After winter came and went, Proconsul Scipio sent me on the move again, marching against the closest enemy army, led by Hazridal Barker, one of Hannibal's brothers. The Carthaginians are holding a high two-step plateau near the town of Bacula, a fine defensive position indeed. So this takes part. This takes place during the Second Punic War, um, just as an FYI. So yeah, we're in Hispania. That's where we are. Uh, Dislodging them from there looks like a rather hopeless task, but the Proconsul knows what is clear to everyone. The longer you stay here waiting, the higher the risk the remaining two enemy armies will come and crush us. And we don't want that. So, the wait is now the last comes to the dreaded order. The assault begins. Apparently, the Velites will have to engage the enemy light infantry holding the lower plateau. Picked units of heavy infantry are ordered to support them. And guess what? Oh, thank God it's not us. Oh, thank God for that. Last time, my last, my last legionary died because we were sent in. And there was a Carthaginian ninja just absolutely wrecked me. Even he was a he was a good legionary as well. He had like perfectly good armor. He had like he had really good stats, really good armor. And this Carthaginian ninja was just wow with his sword. But this time, thank God, we're kept in reserve. The frontal assault is underway when Proconsul Scipio himself takes the lead of half of the remaining force. As the Carthaginians are busy replaying your soldiers, he leads. He leads us around their position. We are climbing the slopes at a fast pace when a small group of Numidian cavalrymen approach and start harassing us with our javelins. Train is far from proprietors from a cavalry attack, but they keep pressing you. Keep marching. Undisturbed, one of them throws a javelin straight at us. Straight at me. I'm hit, but the armor protected me. At last, they recall their attack and ride away. As you reach the plateau, you shake off the weariness and prepare for the fight. Yes, my endurance saved me with that one. Looks like Hasradul has sent reinforcements to his first line, but they are only partially deployed and clearly not expecting us. We charge to the nearest group from the flank. Aha! And the other side is at the right distance. You prepare to hold Northwest Javelin. Let's just lob it. Play it safe and lob it. Yep, there we go. Disappears into the ranks of the foe. Can't say what damage it caused, if at all, but it must have produced some confusion at least. As the other side gets closer and closer, you steal yourself for the oncoming fight. Good. So, what have we got? Uh, it's me and a legionary. And a Libyan spearman. Uh, I'm not going to lob my javelin. That's only a quarter of a chance. I'm just going to close in. There we go. So what's this guy got? He's got decent enough stats. He's got his hot plant, a Thracian, Thracian helmet, quartered linen cuirass, and a spear. Hmm. Weapon reach a four, whereas we've both got a two, but I am at least. <sighs> Professional heavy footman from Africa. Hmm. Let me see. There's not really much I can do here. Try... F Faint. Try a normal faint. Failed. He does a quick faint. It also failed. And everyone failed their faints. Good. Uh, let's just go for the torso. We miss. He goes for the soft spot. And the legionary hits. The legionary does that. I'm going to recover my stance because I really don't want to like leave myself open for this guy. Let's go for the torso again. Missed. Recovers the legionary. Good. Uh, God, that's a really not a very good... Let's just recover. Succeed, undisturbed. Quick faint on the legionary. Legionary resists. He resists the legionary's quick faint. Let's go for the torso again. It's not a very good... Oh, God, yeah, okay. So, with this, you've got your three things here. So, we've got uh, health on here. This is our stance. The, le the less full that the stance is, the greater chance of the enemy actually succeeding in getting through an attack and then the green one is our fatigue as it fills up um, we start getting slower basically um, so we can see here this is the enemy this is what he's wearing he doesn't have greaves he has some light covering and he's got a helmet and that's his uh, that's his weapons same with us and the legionary next to us here uh, so we could do all sorts of stuff. Recover basically increases our stance once again. Attack, um, that's the hit percent chance, that's the armor piercing chance. So he does have some armor here and apparently our italic Xiphos won't penetrate his armor. Which is why we only did like 5 damage, but we're on the board at least. We actually damaged him. Uh, we can see how much damage they do there. As you can see the armor only does 0.6%. Um, well 0.6 times the damage of our sword, which is here. There it is. Uh, so yeah, it's a two-one sword. Not not particularly great, but it'll do. Um, and then here's all of our skills. And of course, we can't see the Libyan spearman's shields, but the spear um, skills. But there you go. Um, yeah. 
but they do have uh, they do have their spear, so they're not that great in closed confined spaces like we are. So we can faint shield spot dot uh, soft spot, which has a chance of dealing bigger damage. Uh, fainting means that they will lose their stance if it succeeds, and then shield we can try and knock them back. But I mean. He's got a spear, that's not exactly what we want right now, so uh, let's just go for a torso attack. We miss, he faints, we resist but we do lose a bit of stance. Let's recover again, we failed, he attacks our torso, 15 damage! Bruh. Let's try and recover again, yes we succeed. He tries to knock, I resist it, soft spot, oh he hits it, the legionary. Let's go for the torso, we miss. He goes for our neck. Oh, he misses. Thank God for that. Legionary charges him. It fails. Let's recover. They fail. He recovers. Fails. I'm going to recover. Succeed. Undisturbed. Yes, that's what we want. I mean, he's recovering, but then also we're recovering. That's the main important thing. Right now, I don't want to die. This is the second time I've got to this second battle, and, uh, well, I don't want to die. The faint fails. Uh, hmm... Let's recover. We do have a 100% chance of doing it. Respite succeeds. Charges. Fails to knock back the legionary. Let's go for the torso. We miss. The faint succeeds. Oh dear, that's not good. Let's try recover. Yes, we recover a bit. He also recovers. He was undisturbed. Respite fails. Situation is shifting. We won't be able to keep facing this guy for much longer. That's fine. So long as I don't die, which hopefully I shouldn't unless he like becomes a ninja again. Oh, thank god he missed. Legionary attacks, misses. I attack his arm in retaliation, it misses. Legionary also misses. Let's recover our stance. Yep, good. Spearman also tries to recover, he does. Let's go for the torso, we do have a... Uh, great. We had a one-third chance of hitting. He's now got one full fatigue bar up, so is the Legionary. Uh, I do not, however. That's good. Eventually the enemy formation starts to break apart very soon. The panic turns into panic spreads as their wavering turns into a rout and they run away. Good, good, good. So we did manage to kill the Libyan Spearman, uh, but we did manage to survive that little encounter. Attack from all sides, the Carthaginian line is collapsing. Many are taken prisoner, but in the meantime the bulk of his forces managed to escape. At last you are ordered to plunder the enemy camp. You set to the task with renewed enthusiasm. My morale has increased by five. Hooray. So my, my, my morale there is very high. I do have 60 HP, at least. The enemy camp is a bit of a disappointment. It looks like the Carthaginians weren't able to take most of their values out with them when they retreated. Uh, split up and search some of the tents. You enter an apparently empty tent with Nasidius, a short stout soldier with a permanent smirk, and start searching. After a while, your companion finds a finely crafted bracelet. Clearly he intends to hand it over to the Legion. Yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. There's little more you can accomplish here. Well, I mean, we could have tried to keep it, but... Yeah. He's heading north, is old Hasdrubal, intent on crossing the Pyrenees with the remains of his army. The proconsul refused to pursue him, and many of the troops are frustrated with his decision, including yourself. Oh, great, my intelligence is down. Your morale has decreased by two. Carthaginians, you captured, are sold into slavery, and the revenue is shared amongst the troops. Scipio orders the Keltib Keltiberian prisoners to be released. This helps secure more alliances with the local tribes. I've gained 30 denarii. Hooray. And, hey, we survived the battle. Three, Part 3. How about that? Um, so yeah, we've managed to survive the second battle. How about that? So this is where we're standing right now. Uh, I think I will um, leave it here and we'll pick it up in the next episode. I'll thank you for watching and goodbye.